Hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with another edition of One on One. And today we're going to talk a bit about the rumor that's been all over the internet and all over Facebook, all over social media. I don't know if you heard about it or not yet, but it seems that, you know, our new friends over at Warner Brothers are already at it, trying to put together some plans for the future. Rumor has it that a, that a meeting took place between Steven Spielberg, Christopher Nolan, and uh, two higher ups over at uh, over at uh, Warner Brothers. And this, these are the guys right here: David Zaslav, Peter Safran. You remember Peter Safran? He is the co CEO of uh, Warner. Uh, sorry, DC um, uh, Studio. Christopher Nolan, director of the Batman trilogy, the Dark Knight trilogy, and of course Steven Spielberg himself. And lots of people are speculating that this is actually in preparation for possibly Superman, A Man of Steel, Part 2. Pretty exciting news. Let's go over to uh, CBR.com. That's where this article uh, was featured. It's a very quick article. We'll go through it really quickly, and we'll talk a little bit about it and what this could mean for the uh, Man of Steel franchise, for DC Studios as a whole. Uh, if I can find the darn thing, let's see. It's right. Here it is. Okay. Boom. A meeting between Spielberg and Warner Brothers. Uh, Discovery boss David Zaslav has led to online rumors of Spielberg's involvement in Man of Steel 2. Um... After meeting between Steven Spielberg and Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav, fans are speculating whether the former is in talks to helm the new Superman movie. According to the Hollywood Reporter's Heat Vision newsletter, Spielberg and Zaslav recently met over lunch, which eventually grew, in, grew to include Christopher Nolan and DC Studios co-CEO Peter Safran. On Wednesday, Warner Brothers Discovery Chief Zaslav and Spielberg were having lunch at Warner Brothers Commissary. Not a bad power lunch, right? The newsletter reads, but then Christopher Nolan, eating nearby, comes over to hang after his lunch wrap. And then... New co-head of DC Studios, Peter Safran, walked in and got to meet the whole gang, if only our Mike in the Cobb salad had not shorted out. Uh, wow. So DC Studios has the perfect director for Man of Steel 2. Nothing official is known about what transpired at the meeting, but fans have since taken to Twitter to speculate about Spielberg's potential involvement in Man of Steel 2. The consensus among fans is that the Oscar-winning filmmaker would be a more than welcome addition, I guess so, to Henry Cavill's Superman sequel. A sample of fans tweeted reactions... Uh, we'll go past that. This is not the first time Spielberg has been connected to a superhero property. In July, a rumor surfaced suggesting that Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios approached Spielberg to shepherd its upcoming Fantastic Four film. The report also said the director expressed no interest in taking on the project when contacted by the studio. At D23 in September, Marvel announced that one division's Matt Shakeman would helm the film instead. Um, back at Warner Brothers, Spielberg's boarded a film adaptation of DC Comics World War II titled Blackhawks in 2018, though he joined the project as a producer. Spielberg is also said to be developing the film as a directing vehicle. Jurassic Park uh, writer David Cope uh, was hired to write the script of the film. In March, Cope uh, shared an update on the project, saying the script was finished and they were writing, uh, waiting for Warner Brothers, then under new management following its merger uh, with Discovery to give them the green light. On Spielberg's involvement, Cope um, said, obviously, I hope he does it, or if he doesn't direct it, I hope he produces it and, some, and someone else great directs. All right, guys. Wow. Again. This is very early, right? Very, very early. Um, what could it mean? What could this meeting have been? Could it have been a simple meeting? Warner Brothers, the, the, the you know, it's it's a, it's a, I was at Warner Brothers Studios back in uh, about four, before COVID, my family went for a vacation there. It's a pretty busy studio. And um, many higher ups have offices there. I know Clint Eastwood even has an office, like a little cottage where he works. So a lot of bigwigs hang out at Warner Brothers. So it probably wouldn't be too, too, too much of a stretch. Just the guys are just having lunch together, and then you know, Christopher Nolan comes on over and what have you. But you don't think for a second they discussed the potential of of Steven Spielberg getting in on the action? And to be honest, if you think about it, out of all the big uh, 
a tour directors and the big, you know, you know, like we've heard a lot of um, negative uh, feedback uh, from directors like, you know, Martin Scorsese, uh, recently, who was a uh, Quentin Tarantino even came up and started talking, you know, smack about the comic book uh, genre as well. Steven Spielberg has been quite quiet in that regard. And you know what? Spielberg would be a perfect fit. I mean, thinking of many of the films he has done, they many of them have, many of them have a supernatural slant, a fantasy slant to them. So I think he would fit right in. And uh, you saw my picture, my my thumbnail uh, shot of um, of uh, um, <laughs> oh, come on, Henry Cavill there with the Oscars. There, listen, Spielberg. Uh, Spielberg is no slouch when it comes to the Oscars, right? He has many on his mantle. Now he could come on board as a producer, in which case he wouldn't necessarily be involved in the actual, you know, day to day directing of the film, but he would have input for sure. Um, now remember, Christopher Nolan was also at this meeting. Nolan left Warner Brothers after uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. He wasn't too impressed with the previous uh, leadership there. And when he did um, his last film, was it Tenant? I think it was called. Um, he left. He didn't. He didn't work with uh, Warner Brothers at all. But he had a long-standing relationship with them. Uh, for, for you know, for for quite a while there, could Christopher Nolan be tapped on the shoulder to do a Superman, be the director of a Superman film? I doubt it. I don't think Nolan wants to go back to that playground. But I still think that is something that that really would suit. What do you think? Do you think that would suit jo uh, George Lucas? Guys, I got a splitting headache right now, so if I'm all over the place, it could be because I'm having a hard time uh, <laughs> keeping my my thoughts straight. But it would be a fantastic vehicle for, I think, Steven Spielberg, just because of the type of movies he has done. Let's go over really quickly to IMDb and, and just, you know, come on, we all know the films of Steven Spielberg. But check some of these out. Uh, these are some, okay, let's go, let's go to the very top and start the more recent films that he's been involved in. Now, oh wait, no, those aren't the ones he's directed. Hold on. Uh, directing right here as a director. So I mean, you know, the the Fablemans is coming out. West Side Story nominated for uh, uh, I think no, it did not win a uh, Best Picture. Lots of uh, Academy Award nominations for actors involved in it. Uh, Ready Player One, like like Ready Player One in a way is kind of a superhero film. Um, guys, look at the look at his look at his uh, his filmography. You know. Uh, just some of the, you know, Lincoln, War Horse, Indiana Jones of the Crystal Skull. And I'll talk about though, that one, but there's others. Munich, War of the Worlds, which I really loved. Another another fantasy sci-fi film. Uh, Catch Me If You Can, great film. Uh, some of my favorite ones here, you know, like Saving Private Ryan, Amistad, Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Park, Lost World, Schindler's List. Come on. Jurassic Park. Uh, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade. Love that one, right? Amazing Stories. Uh, Color Purple, uh, E.T., Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, Jaws, come on, guys. I cannot think of a better pan to helm a Superman film who could capture the magic and capture the, uh, the optimism of a Superman film like, like a Steven Spielberg could, oh my lord. That would be amazing. It would really add a lot of clout to the DC lineup coming out. And there's been lots of other rumors that have started to percolate as well, too. But this is really interesting news. You know what? David Zaslav and, and, and Safran could have just been tapping these guys on the shoulder to see what their input. What do you, where do you guys think we should go with this? Hey, you know, Christopher Nolan, you helmed three ultra successful Dark Knight films, uh, a trilogy that many feel are three of the best superhero films ever made. How did you do it? Where do you think we should go with the DC studios with the films that are coming up? Maybe they're, you know, just getting some feedback from these directors. Or, like I said, maybe they're trying to get in on there. I hope they are. Now, I don't know if anybody is in the chat. There's not many guys here right now. Let me, uh, oh, restore the chat. Let's go over. There's no chat. No one's saying anything. Okay, well, there won't be a chat today. But listen, guys, what do you think of the possibility of, jo of oh my gosh, of Steven Spielberg or possibly Christopher Nolan even getting in on the action over at DC Studios? Do you think it is possible? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, do you think it's a good fit? Do you think it's a bad fit? Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. All right, guys, that's it for me. Like I said, I've got a splitting headache, so I'm getting the heck out of here. Have a fantastic night. Also, if you ha are interested in... Oh! <laughs> a couple of... A couple of... Uh, uh, 
subscribers just po posted here. Let's see. Uh, Soccer vids 99. I was excited enough when Spielberg was developing Blackhawk. Listen, he does have definite interest in comic book in the comic book genre. I could see Spielberg, you know, reading comics voraciously as a kid. I I'm sure he's a fan. And, uh, you know, his involvement with Blackhawk was pretty interesting. But I think to helm a big blockbuster film like Superman, at his age, I mean, Spielberg's what, in his, in his late 70s now? But he's a spry 70-something, isn't he? And, uh, I mean, come on. Arguably the, the, the most, you know, prolific director of our age. Um, and I think he would be just... Amazing. Peter G says, Spielberg, if interested, could make the best superhero film ever, Peter G says. Yeah, I think so too, guys. I think so too, Peter. I would have to agree. Do you guys agree with SoccerVids99 and Peter G? Again, let me know in the comment section below. Also, my friends, uh, CGC Box did arrive today, late today. So I'll probably have an unboxing on Thursday because tomorrow is absolutely slammed. So listen, guys, until next time, you take care. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below. I want to hear what you think about Steven Spielberg or Christopher Nolan potentially directing the next Superman film or even another DC property. Until then, guys, take care. Have a great night and see you soon. Bye for now.